Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I just finished up the horse chores. Takes about an hour, but it all depends how much they poop too. So today was like a hour and a half worth of work, like lots of wagon loads of stuff to scoop up. But anyways, I'm here at the goat barn and we're gonna start putting up these things. We got all these. I just gotta figure out where they go now because I don't even think they have the size on it. Um, see, they don't even have the size on it. So how am I supposed to know? Open these all up and see and put it out. And I got these strings. And before, I bought these hooks too. I had them for a while. They are like little clips so I can hang them up. And it comes with this little handy adapter. It goes like that on your drill and you can you can drill it on. It makes it easier. So I've got my drill, I got that, I got the staple gun just in case because the one side I'm gonna staple. So now I'm gonna open these up and try and string them up and see how that works. All the goats are missing. Where's all the goats? I don't see them. Oh, they're way down there. They're way down there with Posy Pig. Except for this guy, she's, she's spying on me. She's watching me. So this is where I'm gonna put it, the first one. Open some up, see how, which ones go where. Only problem is, on this side, there's no beam, so I might have to buy a four by four post and put it there and then put a, a board across, so. But at least I can get this side done today. All right, open this one up and it's huge. Uh, this is gonna be a chore for two people. I'm just trying to find a small one. Wish they had the sizes on them. Cause this, although it looks small, when you open it up, it's as, probably as big as that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Posey's getting right into it. Just lay it out and she's chewing the thing apart. I don't know if this is gonna work. If she, oh, she ripped it. Posey, what are you doing? Posey, you're destroying stuff. All right, I can already feel how warm it is. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not done yet, and Posey is causing a problem. She wants to eat it. So, so far, I did this panel. That's what it looks like. Blocking the wind anyways. There's no wind. Uh, so what I need to do still is uh, peg the bottom. I'm gonna peg the bottom, so I need to get some pegs. I tied that side up, and that side's just temporary because I'm thinking once I get a post here and wood, then this will just all match up together. It all match up together. See how that is? There's a big hole there though, that's what Penny did. I don't want to staple this to it because I want to reuse this. I don't want to buy one every winter. But this is, these are for porches. People put them around their front porches and they have different sizes. So I got that and I think that was like $15 for the one panel. I don't know, it was $60, $65 for, I got five panels. So whatever that comes out to. $65 for five panels and they're all different sizes. I had to measure. So this is the one I measured for that one. It's two by three or something. Two meters by three meters or something like that. And the big one's going right here. So I'm gonna just leave that for now and see what happens to it tomorrow. And then I'll start putting this one on. But I really need to do one in the the Boygo barn. I wanna block off that door. And that one I might staple it to it. Cause that might stay all year round. So this is the important one I need to block off. Put it up to here, to here and then the rest is going to be um, slits so they can go in. And mainly it'll keep the worm pretty bar warm in the wintertime because that's pretty much their shelter. They don't have an overhang or anything, so they're going to use that for now. We'll see how warm that gets in the wintertime. And, and just like that, a new package comes. This is supposed to be my free package stuff. So what I got in this is uh, a tow hook. That's free. Oh, electronic scale. That was free. Couple of locks, couple of locks. And this is supposed to be another tarp. I was counting them and I was thinking I need to get an extra one for the chicken coop windows. I wanna do something better for the windows. 
And this is just a wrapping paper roll cutter. I, I know we bought one of these before, but this stuff, sometimes Timo gives you all these free stuff that you can get. So, that's what I got for free. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have my leftover french fries from yesterday, so I'm always supposed to be french fries. I hate french fries. I'm gonna try and find my turkey. And then I'm gonna teach you to walk on this leash with this harness. I looked it up and turkeys can walk on a leash. So pray for me. All right, I'm looking for my turkey. Where is she? Which one is she? Do you guys think, oops. Do you guys think she's the mean one in the front or the one in the back? The bigger one? She was always the bigger one. I'm gonna see. Okay, I'm gonna go in. I'm leaving you guys outside. All right, so in that whole process, which was oddly calm, I got a chicken out and I got my girl. At least, I think it's my girl. I got her on the lead. I don't know if she's the right one. So I did it. I got her on the leash. She's a little bit stressed from it, but she actually is walking okay. I got this, I got this dog harness. And it actually works so good. She definitely wants to go back with her friends. So uh, she she's, was super stressed out. <laughs> I couldn't hack it. I couldn't handle it. I don't like to see her stressed out. And she has a little bit of a cold. So yesterday I gave her some antibiotics. Today I put some antibiotics just now. I put some antibiotics in their water. Because when one turkey has a cold, that means that they'll all catch a cold. And that's the thing about turkeys. They're like the hardest to keep. They get sick so easy. Anyway, she looks fine, and I know she could learn to walk on a leash, and I want her to learn to walk on a leash, but that might be like a summer thing. But anyway, I was just checking out the duck's water. Uh. Oh. You guys, it's another body. What the heck, man? Oh, if it jumps up at me, like, we're over. This is a smaller one, but you guys, Literally, all of a sudden, we're catching all these mice. They're like, I can't even wait for you to put the fresh water in because we couldn't drink any. Now I'm going to put some antibiotics in their water and I'm going to put some antibiotics in the other chicken's water. All right, I'm going to head down to the goat barn because Sam said, Sam says that he did some work down there this morning. I'm excited to see it. I don't know if you guys can relate, but sometimes when the husband does stuff, you got to check. So I routinely give the chickens like twice, a, sometimes three times a year, antibiotics. And yesterday I had to put Snickers the pig and I grounded him. It's nap time again. Posey, look, 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 I got an apple. <gasps> Help me. What is happening? <sighs> they all tried to ram me. <sighs> Listen, you need a collar, Miss Piggy. Because, <laughs> oh my gosh. No, come on, outside, outside, come on, outside. So she got in, she got in, and then the brown goat burst in, and then while I was trying to wrangle the brown goat, the white one's like, I'm going in too. Come on, Posey, I have an apple out here. Come on. <laughs> She's gonna dump that, it's all water. Yep, it's water. Come on, look, look, Pose. Look, I got an apple. Come on, come on, Posey. Come on, come on, come on. She's like, I don't trust you. Come on, you gotta come out a little further. Come on, come on, come on. Look, I got more. Come on. Oh. I don't know why I try and do this myself. It's just never fun. Let's let everybody have a bite if they want it. Okay, they don't want it. Do you guys want a bite? On oh, my fingers. Okay, Pose. Just a little. You don't need to eat the whole apple. You want a bite? Come on. This is crazy town. My friend has cows and I asked her how many she had and she said 190. And I was like, and she said, ah, after she said 190 and I said, yeah, I know that feeling. You should get go you should get goats, I told her. Goats are just so much easier. Joking. Goats are wild. <laughs> Climbing up me. Oh, you can have some. 
Listen, you can't be a pig all for you. You have to share. Oh, there, she likes it. Does she deserve it? Maybe not, but she likes it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous for my fingers in this situation. Okay, back up. We can't have it all either. Have a bite, quick, because it's gonna turn into a fight. You're not having any, you had your turn. Shoot, she took the whole thing out of my hand. <sighs> Sometimes it comes down to saving your fingers and you just have to let that last piece of apple go. Got nothing else for you, Toffee. All right, so let's go see the thing that Sam made for me. Oh, I like it. I like it. Except for the bottom is not tied down. I'd like that tied down a bit more. Like just even if you tied that corner. Uh oh, there's a big hole. I'll have to get some like tape. I think I can tape it. I love it though. All right. Real test is if it, if it's warm in here, and it is. It's so much nicer. I love it. You, you guys know a few minutes ago when I said sometimes you have to double check when your husbands do stuff. He did good. I'm happy to have him. Even if it means I have to double check sometimes, I'm still happy to have him. I definitely want that one side. Maybe he left it so that they could go in and out it. I don't know. I love it though. Goats are getting chubby with their, with their babies in there. I also kind of think he should do this side though because the goats can actually get in and out that way and this would just be so cozy and warm. I love it. Good job, Sam. So proud of you. So when he ordered this stuff, I don't know if he told you, but it actually is supposed to be like that really thick stuff. So it's not as thick as it's supposed to be. It like literally just looks like, literally just looks like some plastic. Why are you gonna be so pushy? Can you still sit? <laughs> sit. Look, Posey, sit. Sit, put your bum down. You guys know when people post videos, they make videos and it's like expectation versus reality, what you think goats are. I to do this i need to shoot a bunch of expectation versus reality that's my goal for this month for this new month actually it's gonna be winter i don't know <laughs> but like literally every time i come down to the barn i have this ex expectation in my head i'm like i'm gonna teach my little beautiful turkey that loves me to walk on a lead rope and so i come out and i actually catch her i'm so proud of myself and then I put her on it and she's like flopping around like a wild animal and then I feel bad. Or I imagine myself coming down and feeding the goats a nice little treat and it turns into chaos because they all push each other away and they all go crazy or they hog it and like nothing ever goes right. Nothing ever goes right. I could be the queen of expectation versus reality. One thing I know though, is even though it's chaos all the time, there's so much love that happens in this, in every barn that we have, there's just so much love. And the two that love me the best are here and everybody else ran away. The funniest thing about pigs though, she always has to be on top of me. Like always on, right on top of me. Out of all the animals that I've met throughout this farm, turkeys and pigs love the most. Turkeys and pigs. She's like, don't talk to them. Pat me. I love you, posy pig. I sure do. Don't you know that you're beautiful?